Oh boy, said Jim. Today's the day. We have a new winter coming. No one cares, said the long truck. Be quiet. I want to sleep. Nuh-uh. I can't wait for the new engine. Oh boy. I think that's him on the turntable. That is. Engines, I want you to meet Lucas. Hello. It's a pleasure to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you too, Lucas, said Seventeen. Oh, there, that must be Soph. Wait, what's he doing? He must be shunning trucks or something. What the heck? Soph, what are you doing? Ow, said Soph. I'm okay. Curse these cliffs. It's all right, said Seventeen. Ah, said Stan. I am really tired of these troublesome trucks. I'm really going to get my revenge on these. Really? Uh, uh, uh. Come on. What's wrong with my brakes? Uh, no. No, said Stan. My brakes are broken. Well, it's your fault, says Driver. No, said Stan. This shouldn't happen to me. It did. T t well, you know. Lucas said, Next time, Soph, be careful. Soph was back on the rails. I'll be extra careful as I should, said Soph. He was very pleased. Caroline was not pleased to see Lucas. Lucas looks like a lot of trouble, said Caroline. Uh, he's not going to be trouble to me, and if he was going to be trouble to me, I would just shun him off the tracks. Like this. Like this. In fact, like this. I'll show you, long truck. I don't need an engine to watch over me. I can handle everything myself. He banged a long, the long truck, and it crashed into the turntable. Lucas said, be careful. <laughs> this is fun. Ow. You'll learn your lesson. Hey, learn, learn. Learn, you silly engine. <laughs> this is the best day of my life, chuckled up Jim. Wait a minute. I gotta watch over him. Soph, what are you doing? I'm shunning in the lock tricks. Ah! Soph, be careful. I don't need an engine to watch over me, said Soph. I don't want an engine watching over me, said Soph. Lucas looks like trouble. The shunner said, Soph! Hey, said Soph. Sorry, said the shunner. Wait, wh what on earth? Well, one of the log trucks barely came off. At least it's okay, said Soph. He shunned the log truck and himself again off the tracks. Soph, please be careful and no crashing. Let's get the long truck out of that turntable. So all you do, said Jim, is just stay on the turntable? No, said Lucas. There's there's plenty of more things I do. Yay, said so I'm uh I'm on the ground. I'm on the ground. Well at least so I mean uh Lucas isn't going at least I didn't crash, so Luke and Lucas wouldn't have to talk to me. But he did need to talk to seventeen because he was about to cause a big mega accident. Seventeen was being so careless he couldn't even watch where he was going. What he was doing was very horrible. When he passed under the, under Blondin Bridge, the rocks that belonged there 
came off. Oh no, said 17. I hope I don't crash into those. But 17 was moving on his own. Oh no, said 17. Ah! Darn it, said 17. Well, said Self, you need to learn your lesson, 17. Oh, be quiet, Self, said 17. Don't worry, said Self, I'll get you out. Wait. Ah, no. 17, next time, watch where you're going. Ah. I'm tired of him. Don't worry, 17. I'll get you out. Out of this mess. They took a chain up to 17, and he was taken out of his mess. Seventeen and so we're back on track. Well, said Seventeen, I guess this is all. Lucas said, well, watching over an engine sure is hard work. Well, I guess we all should go to sleep. Good night, everyone. Good night. Mm. And it was nighttime at the end.